I can't do it no more. I got a 99 ball handle. I spent all my VC. I used my mom's credit card. I got Hall of Fame quick first step. And nobody wanna give me any good dribble moves for this game. I'm getting boxed every single play. I can't do it no more. I'm done. No, Timmy, please. I got the dribble moves. Hold on, he said what? After that day, I promised myself I would never let anyone else go out like that. I'ma give y'all the best dribble moves. What's up, Silly Squad? It's your boy, Dribble God Grinding. And today, I'ma give y'all the best dribble moves for every single build in NBA 2K23. I got y'all with dribble moves if you're a six foot one player. I got y'all with the dribble moves if you're a six foot nine player. I got y'all with the dribble moves if you're a seven foot two inside center with no ball handling whatsoever. It don't matter. The clips you're seeing on the screen right now are of my six foot nine player and my brand new six foot one player now my six foot one player is an offensive menace if y'all get 1k likes on this video in a day i will release the build video on that build he is going to be my main threes and pro-am build because y'all know me i like to challenge athletes and celebrities to 5v5 pro-am wages i may have one coming up by the way with someone whose name rhymes with bait hobinson if you know what i'm saying so yeah make sure to sub with notifications on for that because that's gonna be hilarious but because of my experience with this new build and of course my six foot nine demigod build i'm one of the more qualified people to tell you the best dribble moves for each and every build not only am i going to give you the best dribble moves in the game for each build i'm also going to give y'all a dribble tutorial to show y'all how to use the moves i'm giving you as well as the best playmaking badges to put on each specific build i'll ask for in return for all this information in one video is for you to drop a sub with notifications on we're almost there at 800k now y'all i'm not trying to waste y'all's time so let's get into it. All right, y'all, before we even get into the dribble moves, I'm gonna show y'all two highly requested moves that literally any build can do. It doesn't matter if you're center with 50 ball handling, you can do these moves. And to prove that, I'm on my six foot nine player instead of my six foot one. Now, the first move y'all been spamming me to learn how to do is the glitchy spin back. The only dribble move you need on for this is basic one spin, which everybody in the game unlocks. So once you have basic one moving spin on, this is how you do it. I want you to imagine a clock in your head. The ball is in your right hand. You're gonna run straight forward and you're gonna spin your stick clockwise from three to six. So again, you're gonna run straight forward. You're gonna spin your right stick from three to six. And every time it'll look like this. Now with your left hand, it's the same thing, but inverted. You're gonna run straight forward. And you're gonna spin your right stick from nine to six. And every single time it's gonna look like that. And when you really master it, you could spam it back and forth with no consequences and as you can see this move uses no adrenaline boost if you don't want it to you literally do not have to touch rt once to do this move now the move i'm doing after the spin back is called the luka Doncic moving step back i wasn't going to show it this early in the video but it only makes sense and to do the luka Doncic moving step back all you have to do after your spin back is literally just flick down on your right stick so you're going to come down you're going to do your spin back and then you're going to flick down on your right stick that move is insanely good at creating space what i like to do is come down do the spin back do the luka if i'm open i'll shoot it right there if i'm not i'll switch to my left hand i'll do another spin back do the luka and i'm usually open then or i'll just rim run and get the easy buck now i read all my comments believe it or not and a lot of people are like oh bro watch steezo's dribble tutorial and finally learn this spin back y'all know steezo right the goat dribbler that that man is insane see i was doing the spin back way before steezo's dribble move tutorial dropped because i knew it from other years right but there is one thing that steezo said in this video that completely changed how I viewed NBA 2K23 dribbling. And that was to do the spin back successfully every single time, you have to be running straight. Once Steezo dropped that gem, it completely changed how I think about this game, bro. Because I was over here wondering why I was messing up and doing the, the spin back like this sometimes, right? And that's because I was running at an angle. But once you know that you have to be going straight, you can combo so many moves if you just learn the timing. For example, if you do a move in behind the back, you wait a second, then you do the spin back. You don't do it right away because you're still at an angle. Same with this super fast crossover move I'm gonna teach you. Once you straighten out, you can spin it back. And make sure y'all wait for this because that is actually my favorite move in the game right there. That whole combo 
absolutely destroys defenders. But the second move that literally anybody can do with I'm pretty sure any signature size up because I've tried this out with three signature size ups is this move right here. I'm sure you've been seeing it in a lot of my videos and have been wondering how I do it because that move is super glitchy to step back from. The ball is in your right hand. You're going to hold RT and you're going to flick your right stick top left. And the second the ball hits your left hand, you're going to keep holding RT and you're going to flick your right stick top right. What that does is a super glitchy long sidestep animation that also moves you forward a little bit. So it perfectly sets up the LeBron step back and gives you a ton of space. So y'all, those are the two moves that any build can do. Doesn't matter your ball control. And for the second move, it doesn't even matter what SIGs you have on. But let's get into the SIGs that I have on my six foot nine players so I could teach my tall guards how to dribble in this game. All right, so for your dribble style, you're gonna go Michael Jordan, easily the fastest dribble style in the game. If for some reason you don't like Michael Jordan, which I haven't met a single person who doesn't, you could also go pro, but Michael Jordan is extremely fast. Your signature size up is completely preference. If you want a fast left to right spam, which is what I prefer now, then go Tracy McGrady. Tracy McGrady has by far the fastest spam dribble moves for taller players. The other signature size up I was using at first was Paul George, but it's honestly a night and day difference. Look how slow Paul George is and look how fast Tracy McGrady is. They're not even comparable anymore. I don't know why I had on Paul George for so long, but Tracy McGrady is by far the best in my opinion. For your size up escape package, if you want the super glitchy hot back and you have under a 90 ball handling, which my 6'9 does, then you have to use LeBron James to get that glitchy step back. Now, if you're a taller or shorter player, let's say you're a 6'8 with 90 ball handling, if you can unlock Damian Lillard, 1000% use Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard gets the same hot back, but gets a better speed boost animation. Damian Lillard is by far the best size of escape package for people who care about the LeBron step back and want a speed boost. Now, if you don't care about the LeBron step back at all, you do not care about creating that much space with that move, then your best bet is to go the John Wall size of escape package. I'll show more why on my smaller build, but the John Wall size of escape package is what all the comp smaller guards are using because it offers a variety of speed boosts, but it has no step back move. So just keep that in mind while you're choosing. For me, I have LeBron James equipped because I really love that move and it ties my whole game together. Moving crossover, no question is James Harden, best moving crossover in the game. It is extremely fast and it sets up your spin back perfectly. Moving behind the back, if you don't have a 90 ball handling, Zach Levine is your choice. It is super fast and sets up your moving spin back. If you do have 90 ball handling, the best moving behind the back is Damian Lillard because you don't even have to wait to set yourself up for the spin back. You could just do it right after the behind the back. Moving spin is basic. I already covered why. It's how you do the best move in the game. Moving hesitation is Luka Doncic and moving step back is also Luka Doncic. This is super important. I would not trade this out for anything. I know people have been talking about how James Harden like travels super heavy, but it is still not better than Luka Doncic off of the spin move, which is what we're going to use to tie our whole game together. So y'all to summarize on my 6-9, these are the gym moves I've been running with. But if you're a taller player, I would try these gym moves on because they are insanely fast. All right, so now that my taller builds have my sigs on, I'm going to teach you a couple more more moves we learned the moving step back we learned the luca off the moving step back we learned that we could spam the moving step back over and over and over obviously i'm holding rt right now but you know what i'm saying you can if you wanted to we learned this glitchy move that i don't even know what to call but it is super nice and i don't see people using it now we're gonna learn a move that is gonna tie everything together so you have a hop back move with the lebron size up escape you have a way to turn back around with the spin now we need an effective way to attack the basket and that move is gonna be this move right here it is a super fast moving crossover and i'm gonna teach y'all how to glitch the game a little bit and not have to fully wait out this long animation and instead combo a different move that will let you speed boost right away so first to do this move it's super simple all you have to do is hold rt and press up on your right stick and it will fully play out this animation now you can continue running off this move and go straight to the basket you can continue running and then hit the spin back on them there's a lot of different things you can do with this move but my favorite by far is to do the move and then do a moving hesitation right after. When you do it right, you do not have to wait out that full animation and it's gonna catch people so off guard. So you're standing right here, you're gonna do the move and then you're gonna do a moving hesitation right after and you're gone. Now to do this, you hold RT, you flick up on your right stick to do this move, right? And then right when that animation starts, not when it finishes, right when it starts, you're gonna keep holding RT and you're gonna flick your right stick directly to the left. 
and all together it's gonna look like that now if you're getting this right here where you do the move and then you do the hesitation right after it's because you're not doing the hesitation quick enough i'm not sure if y'all noticed but there's a little bit of a delay to this game and it's such a big delay that i kind of use it to my advantage i do both moves right after each other before it even finishes playing out so i'll hold rt and i'll flick up on my right stick and directly right stick directly to the left so i flick up on the right stick and then left on the right stick right after now the reason i have tracy mcgrady signature size up is because of how fast you can spam left and right with but at the same time the speed boost moves it offers one of the moves if the ball is in your right hand literally all you do is you flick your right stick diagonally down to the left and it gives you a ball in the back and then you sprint right after it this move is extremely fast you could just run right out of it you could spam it left and right as well it doesn't matter it obviously takes adrenaline boost because i'm holding rt you can also do this with t-max crossover move which to do that you're not holding rt you literally just flick your right stick diagonally top left and if you do that you get that speed boost move here and to do it the opposite side you just do diagonally top right all right y'all that's pretty much it for my taller builds when you combo it all together it looks something like this but now let's get into my six foot one guard build i got a short tutorial for y'all because i've only been labbing them for about a day or two but i already found some glitchy drip moves that you're gonna want to see all right y'all here are my drip moves for my six one not gonna go through every single one because i feel like this video is gonna be way too long but you can see what i said on the six nine happening here the damian lillard size up escape is amazing the damian lillard behind the back is amazing and i can use it on my six one because i have a higher than 90 ball handling the only major difference here is signature size up steve francis and you will see exactly why in a second all right for my short guards i'm gonna speed through this because like i said i haven't had much time to really lab this build yet i'm still grinding it out i will become him on this build do not worry i absolutely love it i'm gonna show you some really good speed boost moves so first if you remember from 2k22 how to do the trey young escape package even though we don't have trey young escape on damian lewis is extremely fast so you want to be able to do that as well as you see you could spam it left to right i'm out of adrenaline boost but you know you could spam it left to right and it is just a super fast move to come off a screen with especially if you get that glitchy speed boost animation just like that and to do that move if you're dribbling in your left hand you're gonna hold rt and you're gonna flick your right stick diagonally up to the right and if you're dribbling with your right hand you're gonna flick your right stick directly up to the left and then obviously you're just gonna run right after the next move i want to show y'all is the move that has to do with what signature size that we chose and that is this behind the back right here you could spam it back and forth it is super quick it is a really good misdirection move you could speed boost out of it as well it is just a super good move to learn you could spam it left and right sometimes you go through the legs with it you could go behind the back it can really fake out defenders let's say the screen's on the right side you can pretend like you're gonna speed boost over here then once you get here behind the back back to the left side and then pull your green right there or if you're good pull your green because i obviously should have wait to do this move it's super simple you don't have to hold rt literally all you do is flick your right stick diagonally down to the right if you're dribbling with your left hand and diagonally down to the left if you're dribbling with your right hand again you could spam it back and forth it doesn't take too much stamina and it is a very fast move and the last move i want to teach you is a moving hesitation that doesn't even register that's moving hesitation and just gives you an extra speed boost so it'll literally look something like this it basically looks like you just stop and then you speed boost again but in reality it's a moving hesitation move all you do to do this move if you're dribbling with your left hand you hold rt and you flick your left stick directly to the left and then you speed boost out of it if you're dribbling with your right hand you hold rt you flick your right stick directly to the right and you speed boost out of it now if you're standing still when you do it it gives you that move right there and then you speed boost out of it but if you do it after you've been moving to a side it literally doesn't even show a move and you just get an extra speed boost then after learning those three moves it's literally just a freestyle of everything you learned on the 6-9 like the spin back the luka Doncic, the step back and then incorporating these other speed boost moves that you just learned and making an iso slash screen taking type dribbling style but anyways y'all that is pretty much it i gave you all the best removes for six nines i give you the best removes for six ones six fours smaller guards i showed you how to use a couple of the moves that i know obviously it's the first month of the game i'm obviously not going to know everything that i'm going to know by the end of the year so i'm just giving you everything that i know now now this six one build that i made is absolutely insane look at the playmaking badges i have on it i have three tier three playmaking badges on this build if you're a small guard with like 30 plus playmaking badges this is how i would distribute them if you're not and you're a tall guard and if you're a tall guard this is how i distribute them on my six foot nine anyways i'm not gonna lie i'm tired i have not been feeling well these past couple of days but i will have that rush royale that i mentioned in one of my other videos coming out either friday or saturday so make sure y'all sub with notifications on i'm sorry for the delay on this video like i said i wasn't feeling too well i'm starting to feel a little better now but no matter what i'm gonna keep on grinding so thank y'all so much for watching i love you all and as always keep grinding balling balling who can we never be falling retro she never be calling still hitting shots while they steady be taunting balling balling
2K we never be falling. Retro she never be calling. Ballin', 2K we never be falling. Retro she never be calling. Still hitting shots while they steady be 